Hello, I'm Max Woosman. I'm Harper the Fox. This is the Dirty Folk Podcast. Listen, if you're listening to this right now, you should go over to dirtyfolk.com and subscribe to uh, the mailing list there. Uh, we send out an extra bonus episode for free. The mailing list is completely free, uh, and you get an extra bonus episode. Uh, every time we release an episode, it comes with an extra bonus episode. And also, if you'd like to submit some questions of your own or submit some answers of your own, things like that, that's where we'll see it. That's where we'll interact with it. And that's where we'd like you to be. It's dirtyfolk.com. Go ahead and sign up for that email list. Get yourself a bonus episode every two weeks. Yas, yes, botch. Yeah. Uh, all right. This is the podcast where we ask the questions that no one's asking. I'm so fucking ready. <laughs> <laughs> and we answer them, whether you want us to or not. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay. You have to either cut off a man's dick or his balls with a box cutter. Which one and why? Ugh. Okay. Awful. Yeah. I have my answer. Okay. Um the specificity of box cutter really dials it in for me. I, I thought that was a nice touch in the question myself. <laughs> you thought that a... was nice? You well, see your box cutter in the di- to the dick and you think nice touch? <laughs> <laughs> well, for some reason, if it's like a meat cleaver, I think it sort of makes it for some reason like Eh, same, same. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, the small blade, multiple cuts, a little bit of sawing action, inefficient. I'll be very right? curious what you have to say about this, uh-huh. being the one between us who has both a penis and balls. Yeah. Um, I've checked. <laughs> I have the evidence. <laughs> um, I say solidly balls on this one. Ooh. Okay. Why? I mean, for the reasons you just mentioned, if it's a box cutter, it would be several cuts. Mm-hmm. If you're talking about the dick, it's going to take a long time to get through that thick flesh. Compared to the balls? I mean, as there's the the dangly do. <laughs> Scrotum? <laughs> yeah, you've got the dangly do. You've got the dangly do. Back. The balls inside. And then... Up towards the top, the flesh is so much thinner. I just think you're... If that's your reasoning, I think you've chosen poorly. Okay. Enlighten me. Completely. Poorly. Well, So here's the first question. I want to see my first little sub-question here. Uh, point of curiosity. Mm-hmm. I know my answer to this one. Right now... Are you completely concerned about your comfort or the person who's getting their <laughs> dick and balls, dick and or balls cut off? I am primarily thinking of me. Yeah, me too. For whatever reason, I just like give zero fucks. Like I have no questions about like I mean, what did this guy do? It's kind of like I I have to choose one or the other. This guy's having a bad day no matter what. But I also right. But in my consideration of which one to do, mm-hmm. it's not which would be like nicer for him like having to live the rest of his life or which one would be like the least painful for him right for me there's just for whatever i don't know why it's (laughs) all about me it's all about my own comfort and what i have to do i i would say for me the the selfishness it uh there is some consideration for the other person but mostly in that like if I'm the one who has to do this. Also, I'm assuming there is no sort of anesthesia or numbing agent of any kind. I'm assuming that we're just going into this like raw battlefield old school. So I'm. <laughs> what battlefield? <laughs> 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 Two men enter. One man leaves. Dickless. <laughs> Classic, classic duel. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what a duel is, right? <laughs> Someone throws a glove, and you pull out the box cutter. <laughs> you take off your feathered hats and, and start chopping at each other's junk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, for me, definitely the amount I'm going to have to hear this person scream and cry 
factors profoundly into my comfort. Yeah. Because so you figure I it's dark, the- right? They're, I mean, they're either unconscious or they are like shackled. Yeah, restrained is in there. I, it, unconscious does not occur to me. I'm I'm interpreting this question as they are like fully awake, fully alert, un okay, but does it, does it matter? So if your most of your concerns for you anyway, mm-hmm. then does it change your answer whether they're conscious or unconscious? No. If I fully remove my concern for the other person in any capacity, I would be more upset by seeing a dick stump with balls than I would by seeing a dick with lack of balls. So this is all about just like <laughs> later and he's walking around and you're just like, oh, and now you're ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because, I mean, uh, castration is a thing. It's, but. Right. Okay. Cutting so, somebody's dick off, thats that seems so much more serious. Than cutting their balls off? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, that's what okay. you do to little boys to make them sing pretty for the rest of their <laughs> lives. So you're just creating a bunch of new Justin Bieber's running around. Whoever thought of it, it's like, I've had an idea. <laughs> what if we cut the balls off? Actually, that would for, be that, for what reason? <laughs> so that they will sing in high voices forever. <laughs> I like it. I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> you're promoted. I just like when they sound like little boys in that choir. Okay, so okay, it doesn't matter to you if they're if they're unconscious or conscious <laughs> it matters to me but it doesn't change my answer doesn't change your answer so you just choose to imagine them as awake <laughs> <laughs> it seems implied in the fuck up of this question i don't think it was i think that's just your that's your choice hun that's that's a choice you're making don't call me hun right now <laughs> <Why not? laughs> it feels wrong <laughs> uh you just you just like to imagine people being tortured and screaming, hun, sweetiekins. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. That's who you are. I don't know why you're not comfortable with who you are. This is a decision is not you made. Right. This is... Anyone who's been listening, I never said <sighs> that there's, there's a chained, conscious, awake man that you have to cut their dick or balls off with a box cutter. I just said you have to cut off someone's dick. This I is... didn't even say they were alive. There's many uh, ways you could have imagined yeah, this. Yeah, that's true. This and is you a great... chose. There, st- we are locked in eye contact, <laughs> staring <laughs> deep into each other's eyes. Oh, I <laughs> hack at them with <laughs> a box cutter, and they <laughs> scream and scream <laughs> and scream. Yeah. Um. Okay, this is a great moment. I want to know if I'm alone in this. Uh, for those of you who are subscribed to the free email list that you sign up for at dirtyfolk.com. Uh, right in. Am I the fucked up one here? Did you assume when you heard this question that the person is awake? Did you assume there was anesthesia? How how far on the twisted spectrum am I? Well, anyway, back to okay, let's get back to your first assertion. Yes, that the dick would be harder to get through. Yes, than the balls. There's a lot of cordage in there. Isn't there? In I mean, I know there. Hmm. Would you call the structures that support the balls like tendons? What what are they? It's not support. I don't know what you call them, but like here, feel. There's a lot of cordage Ooh, in here. I'm about to feel some balls live on on air here. Okay. X is unzipping his pants. So he's pulling down his box briefs. Okay, so the dick, even just visually, look. It's not. It's like way. The balls are way mm. fatter across than the dick. Right? Okay. And then if you Ooh, feel you in know. there, there's tons Ooh. of gristly cords in there. Yep. You got to get through okay. thing after thing and they're slippery and slidey. I do think that um It's like the difference between cutting between cutting a a, a sausage and, and like cutting a, like a oh, I had a, like a visual I lost it. Cutting a sausage or cutting a uh 
Like a chicken thigh? No. Like... I guess like a bag of intestines or something. Uh, like, and you have to get it to detach. Yeah. Like there's just lots of places where it's going to be like holding on. Okay, so... And so I, can... I feel like you're going to have to like grab them together and either mm-hmm. way saw it off. But a dick too, like when you stretch it out, it gets pretty skinny. Twist it out, stretch it out. I don't know actually. Now that I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah, Max is just grabbing all over himself right now. Mm. What temperature is it in the room? Is this... Because... I I'll lay something bare here. Uh on a really hot day, and I think especially if if you've like jizzed reasonably recently. Yeah. Like how can I describe this? Like the 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 sack sort of uh lays against itself much more. It's less of a bag and more of like a vacuum seal around the balls oh sure so that, when, they, when that, they're hanging low yeah when so that is loose and relaxed right like if it's a cold room terrible like if it's a cold room and a man who has not come recently yeah that that definitely makes the ball proposition worse i don't know if it changes my answer because like i guess part of it is uh like i can imagine that if the balls were the ones sliced, like at the very least, it, the the wound is kind of hiding behind the dick, and and like, and it would more just sort of look like a, I don't know, an awful gash. But if you're slicing through a dick, I'm like imagining the tubes inside, and I'm imagining it just sort of like that stump, like open mouth staring at me, just. Oh, so okay. See, this is I have the exact opposite reaction. Like I kind of think that the like my my go to answer is the balls as well. Except I get back to dick because of this very thing, because you cut the balls off, and then there's just this little sack of horrors. Like, what if I slip and then these like corded balls fall out? And like you cut the dick off i feel like you just got a dick in your hand and it's like a severed dick and it's like upsetting but like there's something about just like like the open bloody coin purse hmm full of j- just the worst <laughs> the worst bag of mixed nuts you ever had in your life <laughs> so you lean towards dick in in all of these scenarios? No, this question's impossible. Mm-hmm. Like, because I, yeah, every time I think I got something, I go back and forth. To me, it really depends on what's my relationship to this person. A hundred percent. Because as soon as you start layering in story, now I sort of agree. Like, to me, cutting off the balls is probably a worse experience for me, but not that much worse if I have to do one or the other and I have no problem with this person, mm-hmm. anywhere from I have no problem with them to I like them, mm-hmm. I I would do the balls. Mm-hmm. Because I think there's at least a chance that they can have sex again. Mm-hmm. I think in terms of prosthetics and things that would look like somewhat right and things like that, you could probably create a convincing enough ball sack, assuming they survive. Yeah. Right, assuming they're alive and whatever, um, and I think it's equally difficult to cut through both. Like, you know, I think I had it in my mind when we started this, like that it would be difficult but not that hard. But then as soon as I started actually like looking and close and grabbing my balls, I'm like, oh my god, with a box cutter. Honestly, I started experiencing your dick and balls in a whole new way when you came over and had me like feel (laughs) like my concept of like what your dick and balls are made of completely changed oh you know okay so it's the difference here's what i was saying it's like cutting a plastic bag the balls right if you have to cut it because it looks compact but there's really so much surface area mm-hmm. to get it all to detach it's like all these folds and folds and folds and folds and folds and it's thin so to actually get it all and get through it and they slide again and it slides against itself you see what I'm saying? So, like, you might, have, I think you have to do way more cuts. You could get lucky. You could, like, cinch them up, 
go real good. A hot day, hanging Tighten low. Tighten them up as hard as you can. Yank. I mean, you cut them off. I guess why not just yank them as tight as you can and twist them all up, right? Right. And the then you can probably like, intense. shing, like. Right. Really the, I think the like, shing like, or, is or, important. Hey, with the box cut, I don't know. Maybe a shing would be worse. Maybe we wouldn't get all the way through and you have to go back again. Maybe just a little. Shh, 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 shh. You know what I'm saying? Is that coming through to the audience? You think about the visual? <laughs> the dudes who are listening to this, like driving to work, their legs are just getting tighter and tighter and tighter <laughs> yeah. together. We've caused like five bouts of vomiting and ten car accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's on their lunch break listening to this and just <laughs> just put down their hot dog with dismay. <laughs> what do you guys think out there? The shing or the shing, 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 shing. <laughs> what's gonna get you out of there faster? <laughs> okay, but if I hate this person, right? Yeah, let's get the other side of this coin. Then, then probably their dick. Mm -hmm. Like, it's easier on you. It'll make life worse for them. Right. If they've like kidnapped and tortured my child. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I'm going for both yeah uh <laughs> that's the tricky thing with this is like if you hate them if you seethingly hate them, right in that scenario there's a whole lot of like whoops sorry i missed i just stabbed the ball like oh gee whiz there goes the tip of your dick <laughs> let me try again <laughs> right but it's hmm hmm but in a generic scenario, God. Right. Someone you are completely neutral with. I really, I personally want to do dick. I want to choose dick. I, I am I am convinced <laughs> that it's going to be easier on me. But my kind, charitable heart says balls. <laughs> But the selfish part of me definitely wants to say dick. I feel like for a neutral person, both parts of me want to say balls. I the, Here's the, the thing. Okay, I'm going to add one more layer to this. Okay. In the aftermath, if, if I was the one getting cut, mm -hmm. assuming they can, like so prosthetics back on there and and i my life is saved and everything like that i think i'd be long term happy if someone chose balls on me but in the short term i have a much more visceral reaction to someone cutting off my balls with uh with a box cutter than my dick i'm my head just cocked way to the side. I'm perplexed. I, it's, it, it seems, I guess getting my dick cut off is something I have, I have contemplated. I feel like all men, especially as boys, like have a contemplated the idea of getting your dick cut off. Okay. I'm, I'm considering something here. F finish your yeah. thought. Getting my balls cut off. I've never even, it's too horrible to think about. Hmm. Like if, now if I logic through it, I go, okay, maybe it's for the best, but but mostly I'm just like if someone were coming at my genitals with a box cutter, I'm like mentally ready for dick. I'm like, okay, this is terrible. You're a monster. And then they go for my balls and I'm like, well, like you're the devil. Like, mm -hmm. Who are you? What is this? What's wrong with you? Like, oh my God, I'm in way more trouble than I thought. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to work on the analog here where I, I haven't actively considered, I guess, either of these things very much. But if I were to draw as close of a parallel as I can, I would compare it to somebody is going to cut my clit off mm. or they are going to take my uterus out of my body. I don't know if that's a good comparison. Why like not? Because... I, I'm thinking it's like the clit's just clit. a little itty bitty thing you do it fucking right, but it's like the pleasure center scissors. I, I'm trying to like for the aftermath, possibly a nail clipper. Ugh, 
<laughs> Divorce. <laughs> For that? A hundred percent. I've done did, a lot worse than what, that. <laughs> what did you divorce me for the other day? Did I open the dishwasher into your leg? And that was, <laughs> and that was cause for divorce. That's real assault. This is just words. <laughs> oh, but the okay. So the comparison is pleasure center to pleasure center versus very reproductively important to very reproductively important. I think that's probably it, right? It's it's the like evolutionary monkey brain if that's where the semen is. Right. And I can empathize for that one with like if I just like like the, in procedurally it doesn't line up cuz like can you come out of a stump? If I still have my <laughs> balls and you cut my dick off. Right, and all, and all the holes healed up, okay? Yeah, does it work? Do I have a sawed off shotgun now? <laughs> I think you do. I lean towards you do. Yeah. Does it heal? Does it heal, heal up like that? I feel like they'd have to at least drill the hole again. That it would like heal as like a sort of you know but you'd have cauterized to keep, mess. You'd have to keep peeing even as you're healing, so that would be awful. But wouldn't that keep the channel open? I assume that they would like run tubes through my bladder or something i guess i don't know a catheter i guess the catheter to keep the hole open and you you would uh you pee through the catheter and heal around the catheter mm -hmm. that's probably what it is yeah a little placeholder a little plastic pee hole mm -hmm. but can you get what do you think can you blast loads out of your little snub nose can a can a stump get hard I don't know if like visually it could get hard, but does it matter? How long of a stump are we talking about here? Mm. I guess in my mind, it's like a half an inch. Yeah. Yeah. In my mind, that's roughly where it is too. I, I have trouble imagining getting like truly flush to the body. There's some kind of stump. Yeah. Hmm. The, uh, uh. Well, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day, folks. <laughs> Sign up. Take a big bite of that hot dog. For more of this <laughs> at dirtyfolk.com. We have hundreds of you so far. We just started this mailing list. Uh couple few weeks ago now and there are already there's hundreds of you there. Less than two weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's already hundreds of you there, which we so greatly appreciate. It's awesome to have you over there. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep on doing these for you and keep on making the extra ones. So come hang out with us over at our home at dirtyfolk.com and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.